Welcome back. In this video I'm going to show you the three largest pollocks that I've ever speared. So back at the end of June I decided to try a new area that I'd never been to before and it ended up being the most ridiculous place for big pollocks I've ever been to. Just teeming with really really large fish. We managed to on the first trip shoot this fish here which was a, an 8.3 pound fish, an absolute belter and at that point it was the biggest fish I'd ever speared and then we went back a few days later and we managed to get these two absolute donkeys. Uh, one was 9.3 and the bigger one was 10.9 pounds at 82 centimetres long. Absolute slab. So I'm going to show you the footage of these fish and um, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. This first fish was taken in about 10 metres of water. I was finding it hard to concentrate because there's so many large fish around that I couldn't decide which one I wanted to go for. I kept turning my head and <laughs> hooking them one by one, but it was uh, kind of hard to keep my uh, focus on which fish I was wanting to go for. And out of the gloom I see this big fish uh, approach me, I move my gun off to the left. Just as I do this, the fish spooks and starts to turn. I take a shot and I hit it just by the petrol bin and the fish just rolls over. It's a beautiful swim shot. I was uh, very happy with it. It's a very clean swim shot. A few days later I decided that I'm going to go back and try this spot again. Out of curiosity I wanted to see how the mark would fish at low tide because when we previously went it was at the top of a high tide and this tide was about a one metre tide so it was very low and I wanted to see if the mark would fish at all stages of the tide. So we kick up in front of the wreck and then I take a duck dive down and I just realised that this place was just teeming with fish. There were so many fish here it was just out of hand and in amongst these fish I, I spot one standalone fish which was a bit bigger. So I start to track this fish as it comes by me and I take a shot. Unfortunately I hit the fish a wee bit low, which isn't a good situation with large pollock if they have a tendency to tear off. However, with this setup I'm fishing a double flopper, which I find really helps with an extra level of holding to if you really hit a fish a wee bit low. Because some of these big fish will tear themselves and choose to get off. But I managed to safely clear the fish up to the surface and then dispatch it. So this fish was 9.3 pounds in weight and an absolute clad. This fish was a very, very dense, um, very broad fish, very stocky and strong. On the way back, I switch over from my roller gun onto my double banded um, rail gun and I see this fish cruising along the side of the wreck and straight away I realise it's a very large pollock so I take a duck dive down. This fish had no intention to stop me for me. I normally use a special technique and wait in ambush for the fish to come towards me. However, this fish was clearly cruising along the side of the wreck and wasn't going to turn around. So I decided to try and follow the fish in an ops to try and take a shot. It's not a great technique and it doesn't always pay off. However, the fish turns and I managed to take a shot. Once again, this shot was a wee bit low. So I let the reel go into free flow and let the fish take line. I go back to the surface, recover my breath quickly. Once I'd got my breath, I took a dive down and I found out that the fish had actually wiped itself underneath the wreck. So I took a firm grip of its tail and one of the spear and I put this fish up to the surface. This is a wide angle lens on a GoPro and it's struggling to fit this uh, fish in. It was an absolute beast. It was 82 centimetres long and 10.9 pounds in weight. I was uh, completely buzzing. It was my first ever double figure pollock. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, could you please uh, give it a thumbs up if it really helps support the video. If you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing. And if you have any comments regarding the video, drop them in the comments below and I'll get back to you. Thank you for watching.